Okay, lesson advertising. Let's go. Right, this term, as I said in a previous lesson, half our lessons are going to be poetry, half our lessons are going to be on creating a product, creating an advert. It says there, what famous brands do you know? On that screen, I'm sure you recognize nearly all of those brands. They're really, really famous. Um, and even just looking at their logo, you can tell what it is. For example, the Twitter logo down there, it doesn't say Twitter anywhere on it, but you will instantly recognize it, same as the Apple logo. Why do you think this is? Well, because we're bombarded every single day with adverts, and it does change the way that you're watching television, where it pops up an advert on your phone. All day long, we are bombarded with adverts. Okay, so in our advertising lessons, we are going to be working on a project to create our own products. We're going to produce an advert and evaluate what we've made for its strengths and weaknesses. And we're going to look at these three things. So to start with, Today, we're going to look at adverts, so a notice or an announcement in a public medium promoting a product. So that might be on the side of a bus, on a billboard, or a video on the TV, or on YouTube, or on social media. Um, and that's what we're going to look at today. We're also going to look at language features. So how can we, how can we use the layout, color, images, and words, words most importantly, to appeal to a target audience and draw them in? And we're also going to look at making a brand, a product, a logo, and slogan to make sure that the thing that we create has a clear identity. Who are we? What is it we're making? And how are we going to appeal to our audience? Okay, in your work packs or on the resources attached to this slide, you'll see this grid. You can either draw this out yourself on paper or fill it in in your work pack if you have enough space. What we're going to do is we're going to look at three adverts. I want you guys to go away and look at three ad adverts and then summarize what happens in that advert and then why you liked it or why you think that might appeal to the target audience. Why might that want to make someone go out and buy that product? The one which we're going to look at today, I'm going to show you how to fill out this grid, is a really famous one from um, a few years ago now. Bit of a legendary advert and it actually made the, the, the company very well known company but actually made their sales go up by about 10 percent on the back of this advert so it just goes to show what a good advert can uh, can do for your company for your product in terms of sales okay let's have a little look and then we'll analyze it together Okay, bit of a mad one, gorilla playing the drums. So this is how I'd fill out um, fill out this grid. So obviously it's Cadbury's chocolate, says it at the um, at the end and a little bit at the start. What happens in the advert? Well, 
He's got a gorilla playing the drums, obviously having a fantastic time. He looks quite quite chuffed with himself. Um, he drums to a really famous song by uh, Phil Collins that at the time lots of people would have known. You might not have had that song, but it's really famous. And the advert finishes with a picture of the chocolate bar and the words, a glass and a half full of joy. So quite a simple advert, really, um, but really quite effective. And this is why I think it is. So why I like this advert, how, why I think it... Um, well, start with very unusual to see a gorilla playing the drums. So it really, really sticks in your head. And I think it appeals because who doesn't like gorillas? Who doesn't like going to the zoo and looking at the gorillas? Awesome. And I think the point it's trying to make is that um, even a gorilla will have a great time after eating a cabbage chocolate bar, after eating the product. It's also quite simple with a well known song alongside it. So much like the product itself. Cabbage chocolate bar, a bar dairy milk. It's quite simple, but also really, really well known, just like the product itself. So your task is to go away and try and find three adverts and summarise what happens in the advert, but more importantly, why you think it's effective, why you think, uh, why is it good, why, why does that appeal to the target audience. Have a look on YouTube or just as you're watching the telly, find those three adverts, fill out this grid and... Um, Hopefully have some fun because there's some really funny, great adverts out out there. Okay, that's it for lesson two. Hopefully this will give you some ideas for what you can do, how you can create something cool later on when we look at this further. Okay, that's it for now. Um, stay safe, look after each other, 